Okay, so we are going to discuss about asynchronous processing basics. So what is async apex? Basically, it's a process that runs in the background. It can be triggered many ways. You can trigger it by clicking a button with future methods or it can be scheduled with batch and scheduled apex. So basically, it runs in the background. So it's not for simple field updates and things that can be triggered instantly upon clicking a button on the user interface on Salesforce, but it's more of for processing complicated um, tasks or processes that the user um, can just forget about it and they know this process will run in the background and they don't have to wait for it. So, you will typically use asynchronous apex for callouts to external systems, operations that require higher limits, and code that needs to run at a certain time. So, a practical example. In my organization that I manage, we have around 50,000 contacts and we would like to call contacts that are having a birthday on their birthday date or the week of their birthday. So to do that, at the beginning of each month, I ran a async apex, a scheduled batch apex that runs on the background will run on the first of every month and then it will assign our um, phone team representative to call these um, contacts and wish them a happy birthday and give them free uh, presents, um, free gift, a book or CD and so forth and just, you know, bless their day. So that's a simple example. We can also run the same thing to send birthday cards. We are also using uh, an awesome service that generates birthday cards on the fly for us. So at the same time, at the beginning of each month, it will generate birthday cards automatically in the background and send them out to the recipients, to our contacts um, on their birthday week. So that's one practical example of what Async Apex can be used for. You can do a whole bunch of other stuff with your own organization. So what's the point? User efficiency, right? And then scalability. For my example, we want to process um, thousands of records, not millions, but thousands to you know generate call campaigns or send out birthday cards on the background at the beginning of every single month. We want to do that. So higher limits as well. That's all the advantage of using async apex, okay? So as you can see, the type of the async apex has four types. The first one is future methods, and then there is batch apex that I mentioned a bit. It's usually combined with scheduled apex, and then there's also cubable apex. So you can read the overview, feature methods run in their own thread and do not start until resources are available. So common scenario, a web service call out, it's calling out to another platform outside of Salesforce and it process that and then you don't have to wait for it. And then it goes, it's, it's gonna go back and update something in Salesforce and it does that in the background. Batch Apex, run large jobs that would exceed normal processing limit. So common scenarios, data cleansing or archiving of records. Cubable Apex, similar to future methods, but provide additional job chaining and allow more complex data types to be used. So common scenario is performing sequential 
processing operations with external web services. Scheduled Apex, basically you can schedule it. Scheduled Apex to run as at a specified time, daily or weekly tasks. So the main advantage of using async is increased governor and execution limits because it's running in the background, right? With, with, with synchronous Apex, you have a, a lower limit for everything. So here, how async processing works. Ensure fairness of processing, ensure fault tolerance, in queue, persistence, DQ. So this is all um, the points on how it works. Resource conver uh, conservation. Basically, it allows um, Salesforce platform to function much more robust and efficiently and not um, waste resources. Okay. So that's pretty basic because this is actually the basic and we are now going to discuss about um, each of the methods separately. But before that, let's go to the simple quiz here. What is a key benefit of async processing? Higher governor and execution limits. That's the key benefits, higher limits and governor. Batch Apex is typically the best type of async processing batch when you want to do what um, make a call out to web service no you don't need batch for that schedule no um, batch right update all the records probably because you want to update all the records in your org you need to batch it out because there's a lot of records there um, this is schedulable so that's that's it i'll see you on the next video Pada bing, pada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.